Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the William Grand George Theatre and to Roger Williams University's production of Eurydice. Please, take this time now to turn off any and all electronic devices, as they prove incredibly distracting not only to your fellow audience members, but also to the actors on stage. In the unlikely event of an emergency, your exits are back out the way you came in, or through this curtain, down the stairs, and out the double doors. Uh, any photography or recording of this production in the same way as the cell phones are, is also strictly prohibited. With that said, you're going to see we'll run approximately 90 minutes, and there will be no intermission. Thank you, and please, enjoy the show. Interesting are good arguments. Well, yes. I didn't know an argument should be interesting. I thought it should be right or wrong. Well, these particular arguments were very interesting. Maybe you should make up your own thoughts instead of reading them in a book. I do. I do think up my own thoughts. I know you do. I love how you love books. Don't be mad. I made up a song for you today. Did you? Yeah. It's not interesting, or uh, not interesting. It just is. Will you sing it for me? It has too many parts. Let's go in the water. Wait. Remember this melody. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm bad at remembering melodies. Why don't you remember it? I have 11 other ones in my head, making for a total of 12. Do you have it? Yes, I think so. <laughs> Let's hear it. <laughs> well, pretty good. <laughs> uh, the rhythm's a little off. <laughs> here, clap it out. We'll practice. Uh, I don't need to know about rhythm. I have my books. Don't books have rhythm? Well, kind of. Let's go in the water. Will you remember my melody under the water? Yes. I will always remember your melody. It will be imprinted on my heart like wax. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. When are you going to play me the whole song? 
when I get 12 instruments. Where are you going to get 12 instruments? I'm going to make each strand of your hair into an instrument. Your hair will stand on end as it plays my music and become a hair orchestra. It will fly you up into the sky. I don't know if I want to be an instrument. Why? Won't I fall down when the song ends? That's true, but the clouds will be so moved by your music that they will fill up with water until they become heavy. And you'll sit on one and fall gently down to earth. How about that? Okay. It's settled then. What is? Your hair will be my orchestra, and I love you. I love you too. How will you remember? That I love you? Yes. That's easy. I can't help it. You never know. I'd better tie a string around your finger to remind you. Is there a string at the ocean? I always have string. In case I come upon a broken instrument, this hand. <laughs> Is this too tight? No, that's fine. There. Now you'll remember. That's a very particular finger. Yes. You're aware of that? Yes. How aware? Very aware. Orpheus, are we? You tell me. Yes, I think so. You think so? I wasn't thinking. I mean, yes. Just yes. Yes? Yes. Yes? Yes! May our lives be full of music. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you could get me another ring, a gold one, to put over the string one, you know? Whatever makes you happy. Do you still have my melody? Yes, it's right here. What are you thinking about? Music. Uh, just kidding, I was thinking about you and music. Let's go in the water. Come on, I'll race you. I'll race you. I'll, I'll race you. I'll race you. No, I'll race you. <laughs> Part, there is a pleasant atmosphere, 
and you can work and socialize. Much like at home, I'm working in the business world. And it seems that here, you can better see the far-reaching consequences of your actions. Also, I am one of the few dead people who still remembers how to read and write. Um, that's a secret. If anyone were to find out, they might dip me in the river again. I write you letters. I don't know how to get them to you. Love your father. Oh, you're still 
here. Yes. I forgot to tell you something. I have a letter addressed to you, Ridicy. That's you from your father. That's not possible. He wrote down some thoughts for your wedding day. Let me see. I left it at home. It got delivered to my elegant high-rise apartment by mistake. Why didn't you say so before? You left in such a hurry. And my father? Yes. You're short? Yes. <laughs> I knew he'd send something. It'll just take a moment. I live around the block. What an interesting dress you're wearing. Thank you. Eurydice? Eurydice? Voila! Oh, you're very high up. Yes, I am. I feel a little faint. It will pass. Have you ever thought about installing an elevator? No! I prefer stairs, I think that architecture is so interesting, don't you? Oh, yes. So, where is this letter? But isn't this an interesting building? It's so high up. Yes. There's no one here. I thought you were having a party. I like to celebrate things quietly with a few other interesting people. Don't you? Would you like some champagne? Maybe some water. Water it is. Make yourself comfortable. I can't stay long. I can see my wedding from here. Oh, the people are so small. They're dancing. Oh, there's Orpheus. He's not dancing. So, who's this guy you're marrying? His name is Orpheus. Orpheus? Not a very interesting name. I've heard it before. Maybe you've heard of him. He's kind of famous. He plays the most beautiful music in the world, actually. I can't hear you. So, the letter was delivered here today. That's right. Through the post. It was mysterious. <laughs> Voila. Oh my God. <laughs> so, you Eurydice, tell me one thing. Name me one person you find interesting. Why? Just making conversation. Right? Um, well, all the interesting people I know are dead or speak French. But I don't speak French, Eurydice. I'm sorry, I should go. There's no letter, is there? Of course there's a letter. It's right here. Eurydice, I'm not interesting. But I'm strong. You could teach me to be interesting. I would listen. Orpheus is too busy listening to his own thoughts. There's music in his head. Try and pluck out the notes and it bites you. I bet you had an interesting thought today, for instance. I bet you're always having them. The way you tilt your head to the side and stare. I feel dizzy all of a sudden. I want my husband. I think I'd better go now. You're free to go whenever you like. I know. I think I'll go now. In fact, I'll just take my letter first, if you don't mind. Relax. <laughs> Goodbye. Wait, you were to see, don't go! I love you. Oh, no. <laughs> you need to get yourself a real man. A man with broad shoulders, like me. Orpheus has long fingers that would tremble to pet a bull. 
or pluck a bee from a hive. How do you know about my husband's fingers? A man should put his big arm around your little shoulder as he leads you through a crowd. A man who answers the door at parties. A man with hands. With big, stupid hands like potatoes. A man who can carry a cow in labor. My lips were meant to kiss your eyelids. That's obvious. Close your eyes, then. It's his handwriting. Of course it is. Goodbye. Wait, don't do that. You'll trip. Orpheus. You're easy. I don't remember. 
It was horrible to see his face when I died. His eyes were two black birds and they flew to me. I said, no, stay where you are. He, he needs you in order to see. When we got through the cold, they made me swim in a river and I forgot his name. I forgot all the names. I know his name starts with my mouth shaped like a ball of twine. Or, or, I forget. They took me to a tiny boat. I only just fit inside. I looked at the oars and I wanted to cry. I tried to cry, but I just drooled a little. I'll try now. Oh, what happiness it would be to cry. I was not lonely, only alone with myself, begging myself not to leave my own body. But I was leaving. Goodbye, head, I said. It inclined itself a little as though to nod to me in a solemn kind of way. How do you say goodbye to yourself? Oh, a train! Oh, the station is like a train, but there is no train! The train has wheels that are not wheels! There is the opposite of a wheel, and the opposite of smoke, and the opposite of a train! Oh, I'm waiting for someone to meet me, I think. <coughs> my money at the Bureau Day Change. I didn't bring traveler's checks because I left in such a hurry. They didn't even let me pack my suitcase. There's nothing in it. That's funny, right? Funny, haha. -ha. I suppose I can buy new clothes here. I would really love a bath. Eurydice? Ooh, what is that language you're speaking? It gives me tingles. Say it again. Eurydice. Oh, it's like a fruit. Again. Eurydice, I'm your father. Eurydice, I'm your father. How strange. You remind me of something, but I can't understand a word you're saying. Say it again. Your father. Shut, Shut up! Shut up! She doesn't understand you. She's dead now, too. You have to speak in the language of stone. You're dead now. I'm dead, too. Yes, that's right. I need a reservation for the fancy hotel. When you were alive, I was your father. Father is not a word that dead people understand. He is what we call subversive. When you were alive, I was your tree. My tree? Yes, the tall one in the backyard. Oh, I used to sit all day in its shade. Ah. There, shade. There is a problem here. Is there any entertainment at the hotel? Any dancing ladies? Oh, like with the great big fans. I named you Eurydice. Your mother named all the other children, but Eurydice, I chose for you. Be careful, sir. Eurydice, I wanted to remember your name. I asked the Stokes. They said, forget the names. The names make you remember. We told you how it works. One day, it would not stop raining. 
I heard your name. Inside the rain, somewhere between the drops, I saw falling letters, each letter of your name. I began to translate. Uh, e, I remembered elephants. U, I remembered ulcers and under. R, I remembered reindeers. I saw them putting their black noses into snow. Y, youth and yellow. D, dog. Dig, daughter. A day, oh, time poured into my head. The days of the week, hours, months. Oh, the tree talks so beautifully. Don't, Don't listen. listen. I feel suddenly hungry. Where is the porter who met me at the station? Here I am. I would like a continental breakfast, please. Maybe some rolls and butter. Oh, and jam. Please take my suitcase to my room, if you would. I'm sorry, miss, but there are no rooms here. What? No rooms? Where do people sleep? People don't sleep here. I have to say I'm very disappointed. <laughs> it's been such a tiring day. I've been traveling all day, first on a river, then on an elevator that rained, then on a train. I thought someone would meet me at the station. Don't, don't, don't cry! Don't cry! I don't know where I am, and there are all these stones, and I hate them. They're horrible. I went to bath. I thought someone would meet me at the station. Oh, don't be sad. I'll take your luggage to your room. There are no rooms. Here, you're ready to see. I miss you. I hope that's not enough. <laughs> Dear Eurydice, symphony for 12 instruments. <laughs> Love, Orpheus.
thank you. That will do. Oh, I suppose you want a tip? Oh. Would you run a bath for me? Yes, miss. Dear Eurydice, I love you. I'm going to find you. I play the saddest music now that you're gone. <laughs> you know I hate writing letters. Ugh. Oh, give this letter to a worm. Hope he finds you. Love, Orpheus. There's a letter for you, miss. A letter? A letter. It's addressed to you. There's dirt on it. Miss? What is it? Would you like me to read you the letter? Read you the letter? Uh, you can't do it with your feet. It's addressed to Eurydice. That's you. That's you. You. It says, I love you. I love you? Um, it's like, it's like your tree. Tall? Uh, green! Um, it's like, it's like sitting in the shade. Oh, it's like sitting in the shade with no clothes on. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm going to find you. I play the saddest music. Music? Um, something like that. Go on. You know I hate writing letters. I'll give this letter to a worm. I hope he finds you. Love, Orpheus. Orpheus? Orpheus. Eurydice. Last night, I dreamed that we climbed Mount Olympus and flew through the clouds. We started to make love, and all the strands of your hair were little faucets, and water was streaming out of your hair, and I said, why is water coming out of your head? And, and you said, gravity is very compelling. and flew through the clouds, and, and you skinned your knee 
from a sharp cloud. And then we fell into a salty lake. And then I woke up and the window frightened me and I thought Eurydice is dead. Then I thought, who is Eurydice? And then the whole room started to float and I thought, what are people? And then my bedclothes smiled at me with a crooked green mouth and I thought, who am I? It scares me, Eurydice. Please come back. Love, Orpheus. Did you get my letters? No. Did you wrote my letters? Every day. What did they say? Oh, nothing much. The usual stuff. Tell me the names of my mother and brothers and sisters. I don't think that's a good idea. It will make you sad. I want to know. It's a long time to be sad. I'd rather be sad. Being sad is not allowed. Act like a stone. Teach me another. Ostracize. What does it mean? To exclude. The Greeks decided who to banish. They wrote the name of the banished person on a white piece of pottery called Ostracon. Ostracon. Another. Hmm. Peripatetic. From the Greek. It means to walk slowly, speaking of weighty matters, in bare feet. Peripatetic. A learned fruit wandering through the snow. <laughs> Another? Hmm. Defunct. Defunct. It means dead. In a very abrupt way. Not the way I died, which was slowly, but all at once. In cowboy boots. Tell me a story of when you were little. Hmm. Uh, uh, well, there was the time your uncle shot at me with a BB gun. And I was mad at him, so I swallowed a nail. <laughs> oh, then there was the time I went to a dude wrench, and I was riding a horse, and I lassoed a car. The lady driving the car got out and spanked me. Your grandmother spanked me too. Remember the Christmas when she got me a doll? And I said, if I see one more doll, I'm going to throw up. <laughs> uh, I think your Grammy was a little surprised when you said that. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me a story about your mother. The most vivid recollection I have of mother was seeing her in the house and at parties playing piano. When she was younger, she was extremely animated. She could really play the piano. She could play everything by ear. They called her Flaming Sally. I never saw a granny play the piano. She never was the same after my father died. My father was a very gentle man. Tell me a story about your father. <laughs> My father and I used to go duck hunting by the Mississippi River. He would call up old Frank the night before and ask, where are the ducks moving tonight? <laughs> old Frank, he could really call the ducks. Now, it was hard for me to kill the poor little ducks, but you get so caught up in the fervor of it, you could get as many as ten ducks. If you went over the limit, um, there were only so many ducks per person, Father would throw the extra ducks to the side of the creek we were paddling on and make sure there was no game warden. If the warden was gone, he'd run back, grab the ducks, and throw them in the back of the car. <laughs> My father was never a great conversationalist, but he loved 
to rhapsodize about hunting, he would always say, if I ever have to die, it's in a duck pond. <laughs> and he did. <laughs> there was something I always wanted to ask you. A story or someone's name. I forget. Don't worry. You'll remember. There's plenty of time. Dear Eurydice, I wonder if you miss reading books in the underworld. What is this? What do you do? Checking, please. I would really appreciate it. You can't enter a name without a city. Why not? Well, thank you for trying. Oh, wait, miss! It's a special case. She's dead. Well, thank, thank you for trying. Oh, you have a nice day, too. I'm not a very good singer. <laughs> 
neither am I. <laughs> Rising 
above your house. The houses of your neighbors look dull and lacking in moonlight. But he is always going away from you. Inside his head there is always something more beautiful. Orpheus said the mind is a slide ruler. It, it can fit around anything. Words can mean anything. Show me your body, he said. It only means one thing. <laughs> Before I go down there, I won't practice my music. Some say practice, but practice is a word invented by cowards. The animals don't have a word for practice. A gazelle doesn't run for practice. He runs because he is scared or he is hungry. A bird doesn't sing for practice. She sings because she is happy or she is sad. So I say, store it up. The music sounds better in my head than it does in the world. When songs are pressing against my throat, then, only then, I will go down and sing for the devils, and they will cry through their parched throats. Oh, Eurydice, don't kiss a dead man. Their lips look red and tempting, but put your tongue in their mouths and it tastes like oatmeal. Oh, I know how much you hate oatmeal. I'm going the way of death. Here is my plan. Tonight, when I go to bed, I turn off the lights and put a straw in my mouth. When I fall asleep, I will crawl through the straw, and my breath will push me like a great wind into the darkness, and I will sing your name, and I will arrive. I have consulted the almanacs, the footstools, and the architects. Everyone agrees. I found the right note. Wait for me. Love, Orpheus. I got a letter from Orpheus. What does he say? He's going to come find me. How? He's going to sing. That's all. Yes. That's 
Easy. Good. Your I could never spell them. Hands. Word. The third beat. Rhythm. You, you couldn't wait for the. It is such a difficult. Fourth. Remember, I, I tried to teach you. R Y. No, there was an H in there. You were always one step. Somewhere abroad. Ahead of the music. Trid. Rid. Your sense of rhythm. It was, rid. it was off. I would say clap on the downbeat. No, the downbeat. It's dangerous. Not to have a sense of rhythm. You lose things when you can't keep a simple beat. Why do you have to say my name? Eurydice. I'm sorry. Oh, I, I know. We used to fight. It seems so silly now. If, uh, if ifs and ands were pots and pans, there'd be no need for 
tinkers. You were to see? If ifs and ands were pots and pans, there'd be no need for tinkers. You were to see? I think I see the gates, the stones, the boat. It looks familiar. The stones look happy to see me. Don't look. Wow, that's the happiest I've ever seen them. Uh, uh, think of the things we did. Everything is so gray. It looks familiar. I wore a red sweater. We went ice skating. Gray with a red door. We had two cats and two dogs and two fish that died. Hey, talk to me. The train looks like the opposite of a train. Seriously, we, we've known each other for centuries. I want to reminisce. Remember when uh, you wanted your name in a song? So I put your name in a song? When I played my music at the gates of hell, I was singing your name. Over and over and over again. Eurydice. person remember to forget. It's difficult. It's not difficult! We told you how it works! Dip yourself in the river! Dip yourself in the river! Dip yourself in the river! I need directions.
take Route 88 West to Route 80. You'll go over a bridge, go three miles, and you'll come to the exit for Middle Road. Proceed three to four miles, Duck Creek Park will be on the right. Uh, take a left on Fernwood Avenue. Continue straight on Fernwood past two intersections. Fernwood will curve to the right, leading you to Forest Road. Take a left on Forest Road. Go two blocks. Pass the first entrance to the alley on the right. Take the second entrance. Go 100 yards, and a red brick house will be on the right. Look for Illinois license plates. Go inside the house and in the living room. Look out the window. You'll see the lights on the Mississippi River. Take off your shoes. down the hill. The passage tree, good for climbing on the right. Cross the road. Watch for traffic. Cross the train tracks. Catfish are sleeping in the mud on your left. Roll up your jeans. Count to ten. Put your feet in the river and swim. my room. Where's my room? Answer me! It's none of my business! What are you doing here? You should be with your husband. Up there! Where's my father? Why is he sleeping? I've come back! He can't hear you! It's too late! What are you talking about? He did himself in the river. My father did not dip himself in the river. He, he did. did. We, we saw, saw him. him. He wanted some peace and quiet. He did not. Listen, I'll, I'll teach you the words. Then we'll know each other again. Ready? We'll start with my name. Eurydice. E U R Y. He can't hear you. He can't see Shut up! I hate you! I've always hated you! Listen, listen, I'll tell you a story. Try speaking in the language of stone. It's a very quiet language. 
language, like if the pores in your face opened up and wanted to talk. Stone, rock, tree, rock, stone. Did you already mourn for your father, young lady? Something should be left well enough alone. To mourn twice is excessive. Mourn three times. See, life is like a good meal. Only gluttons want more food when they finish their helping. Learn to be more moderate. It's weird for a dead person to be morbid. We don't like to watch it. We don't like to see it. it makes me uncomfortable. Don't, 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 don't cry. Don't, don't cry. cry. Learn the art of keeping busy. <laughs> it's hard to keep busy when you're dead. It's yeah. so hard. We, we keep busy and, and we like it. We're, we're busy, 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 busy stones. What does work? work? Keeping still, keeping quiet. It's hard work to be a stone. No, no time for crying. No, no, no. I hate you. I've always hated you. Shut up. Go ahead. Try and hit us. You'll break your hand. Ha, ha, ha. Is there a problem here? No, sir. Oh, decided to stay with us, huh? Good. Perhaps be my bride. I told you, you're too young. I'll be the judge of that. I've grown. Yes, <laughs> I see that. I'm ready to be a man now. I'm ready to be a man. Please, leave me alone. I'll have them start preparing the satins and silks. You can't refuse me. I've made my choice. <laughs> Can I have a moment to prepare myself? Don't be long. The wedding songs are already being written. They're very quiet. Inaudible, you might say. <laughs> a dirt-filled orchestra for my bride. Don't trouble the song with the music, I say. A, a song is just two dead bodies rubbing under the covers to keep warm. <sighs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, 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 well. You had better prepare yourself. There is nothing to prepare. You had better comb your hair. Well, you better find a veil. I don't need a veil. I need a pen. Pens are forbidden here. But I need a pencil then. Pencils too. Damn you, I'll dip you in the river. Too late, too late. There must be a pen. Somewhere there, there are. There must be. Dear Orpheus, I'm sorry. I don't know what came over me. I was afraid. I'm not worthy of you. But I still love you, I think. Don't try to find me again. You would be lonely for music. I want you to be happy. I want you to marry again. I am going to write out instructions for your next wife. To my husband's next wife. Be gentle. Be sure to comb his hair when it's wet. Do not fail to notice that his face flushes pink like a bride's when you kiss him. Give him lots to eat. He forgets to eat and he gets cranky. When he's sad, kiss his forehead and I will thank you because he is a young prince and his robes are too heavy on him. His crown falls down around his ears. I'll give this letter to a worm 
I hope he finds you. Love, your Eurydice.